Have you ever dreamed of being able to edit any part of a picture with quick sketches or suggestions? Well, it's not only possible, but it has never been easier than now with this new model called Edit Gun, and the results are really impressive. You can basically improve or memeify any picture super quickly. Indeed, you can control whatever feature you want from quick drafts and it will only edit the modifications keeping the rest of the image the same. Control has been sought and extremely challenging to obtain with image synthesis and image editing AI models like GANs. You can see how having extra control is useful for image editing and how it improves the quality of the work you create. When running machine learning projects, the quality of the work you produce is directly correlated with the quality of your tools and the level of control they give. Thankfully for us, it's easier to take control of your machine learning projects using this episode's sponsor, Weights and Biases. By tracking all of the input hyperparameters, output metrics, and any insights that you or your team have, you know that your work is saved and under control. One aspect that I love for teams is Weights and Biases reports. I love how I can easily capture all of my projects, charts, and findings in reports that I can share with my team and get feedback. The charts are interactive and tracked with Weights and Biases, so I know my work is reproducible. I feel lucky that I get to spend time trying to make research look simple and clear for you all and that Weights and Biases is trying to do the same with their platform. I'd love for you to check them out with the first link below because they are helping me to continue making these videos and grow this channel. As we said, this fantastic new paper from NVIDIA, the University of Toronto and MIT allows you to edit any picture with superb control over specific features from sketch inputs. Typically, controlling specific features requires huge datasets and experts to know which features to change within the model, to have the desired output image with only the wanted features changed. Instead, EditGAN learns through only a handful of examples of labeled images to match segmentation to images, allowing you to edit the images with segmentation, or in other words, with quick sketches. It preserves the full image quality while allowing a level of detail and freedom never achieved before. This is such a great jump forward, but what's even cooler is how they achieved that. So let's dive a bit deeper into their model. First, the model uses Talgan2 to generate images, which is the best image generation model available at the time of the publication and is widely used in research. I won't dive into the details of this model since I already covered it in numerous videos with different applications if you'd like to learn more about it. Instead, I will assume you have a basic knowledge of what Talgan2 does. Take an image, encode it into a condensed subspace, and use a type of model called a generator to transform this encoded subspace into another image. This also works using directly encoded information instead of encoding an image to obtain this information. What's important here is the generator. As I said, it will take information from a subspace, often referred to as latent space, where we have a lot of information about our image and its features, but the space is multidimensional and we can hardly visualize it. The challenge is to identify which part of the subspace is responsible for reconstructing which feature in the image. This is where EditGAN comes into play, not only telling you which part of the subspace does what, but also allowing you to edit them automatically using another input, a sketch that you can easily draw. Indeed, it will encode your image or simply take a specific latent code and generate both the segmentation map of the picture and the picture itself. This means that both the segmentation and images are in the same subspace by training a model to do that. And it allows for the control of only the desired features without you having to do anything else as you simply need to change the segmentation image and the other will follow. The training will only be on this new segmentation generation, and the StyleGAN generator will stay fixed for the original image. This will allow the model to understand and link the segmentations to the same subspace needed for the generator to reconstruct the image. Then, if trained correctly, you can simply edit the segmentation and it will change the image accordingly. EditGAN will basically assign each pixel of your image to a specific class, such as head, ear, eye, etc., and control these classes independently using masks covering the pixels of other classes within the latent space. So each pixel will have its label, and EditGAN will decide which label to edit instead of which pixel directly in the latent space, and reconstruct the image modifying only the editing region. And voila! 
By connecting a generated image with a segmentation map, EditGAN allows you to edit this map as you wish and apply these modifications to the image, creating a new version. Of course, after training with these examples, it works with unseen images. And like all GANs, the results are limited to the kind of images it was trained with. So you cannot use this model on images of cats if you trained it with images of cars. Still, it's quite impressive, and I love how researchers try to provide ways to play with GANs intuitively, like using sketches instead of parameters. The code isn't available for the moment, but it will be available soon, and I'm excited to try it out. This was just an overview of this amazing new paper, and I will strongly invite you to read their paper for a deeper technical understanding. Let me know what you think, and I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed learning about this new model. Thank you once again to Weights and Biases for sponsoring the video and to you that is still watching. See you next week with a very special and exciting video about a subject I love.